name is Tess, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a TC Kid? Where each week we'll have an adult face off against our very own TC Kids. Now first, we're gonna meet our TC Kid for the day. Welcome out, Jordan. Jordan, how are you feeling today? I'm um, pretty good. Pretty good. How do you think, are you, do you think you're smarter than our adult today? Well, I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> She's right. We will have to see. But Jordan is pretty smart, so we're going to have some pretty tough competition. Before we get started, let's meet our adult contestant for the day. Let's meet Stephanie. Hi. Now, you may know Stephanie, but we're truly going to see if she's smarter than a TC kid. What do you think? I'm pretty smart, and I think the TC kids are smart, too, but I, I feel it in my spirit. Maybe I could do this. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see. <laughs> TC kids, are you guys ready to get started? Okay, let's do it. We have four categories today. Mm -hmm. Old Testament, New Testament, TC Kids, which is all about what we're learning in TC Kids, and then Culture Codes. Jordan, which one would you like to start off with? Um, let's do TC Kids. TC Kids. Okay, our first question is, how old was Noah when the flood started? A, 120, B, 345, or C, 600? <laughs> Once you have your answers, you can lock it in. How are we feeling over here? I'm feeling good. Good. Do you think you have the right answer? I hope so. Okay, we'll see. Is everyone locked in? Oh, not quite yet. Got a little math going on over here. Okay. Jordan is locked in. Stephanie, are you locked in? Yeah. Okay. I think Let's I'm see. Ready. Let's flip around our boards. Okay, we have an A and a C. Let's see which one is correct. The correct answer is C. So that means that Stephanie got the points. Okay. I think we got the next one. The next one. You it's you. It's you, you got for it? sure. For sure. Let's go to our next A little friendly question. competition. Stephanie, what question would you like? Ooh, okay. I think I'd like to do culture codes. Culture codes. Okay. This question is, in the faith tagline, what do we have faith for? A, God, people, and miracles. B, God, family, and animals. Or C, miracles, signs, and wonders. Mm. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, can I um, use my hall pass? I'm a little confused, and I don't really yes. know what the best choice is. Let's wait for Jordan to lock in her okay. answer, and okay. then we'll use a hall pass. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Oh, Jordan locked it in. is locked in. Stephanie would like to use a hall pass. So, would you like to look off your neighbor, or would you like to ask one of our friends over here? I think I'm going to ask one of our friends okay. over here. Okay. Which one? Um, AJ. Okay, AJ. Can you show us the answer that you have written down? <laughs> okay. Okay, Stephanie. And I'm you can choose to trust it, or you can choose to maybe put a different answer if you don't feel like it's right. I'm going to exercise some faith. Okay. In AJ. Are you locked in? Now Perfect. I am. We are both locked in. Let's flip around our boards. We have B and C. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is oh. A. God, people, huh? and miracles. Yikes. Stephanie, it looks like you may have some tricksters over here. Yes. That may have written some wrong answers. <laughs> but that is okay. Let's move on to the third question. Jordan, which question would you like? Let's do the Old Testament. The Old Testament. Perfect. What is the second commandment? Ooh, we're about to learn these in TC Kids. A, you shall honor the Sabbath. B, you shall have no idols. Or C, honor your father and mother. How are we doing over here? Elijah, what are you feeling for this question? You don't have an answer yet? Do you know all the Ten Commandments? Yes. You do, you just don't know the order? Yes. Okay, well, I'm interested to see how it comes out. How are we doing over here? Oh, Jordan has locked in. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I'm going to try my best here. Okay. Okay, looks like we both have an answer. Let's flip around our boards. B and C. Ooh, let's see which one's correct. B, I, you shall uh, have no other idols. Well, Great job, Jordan. Our TC kids are coming back strong. Okay, we have one more question before we go to our break. And this question is going to be New Testament. Who wrote two-thirds of the New Testament? 
A, Jesus, B, Paul, or C, Peter? I think I got it. Okay. I feel good about this. Locked in. Let's get those answers locked in. Looks like Stephanie is, and Jordan is locked in. Let's flip around our boards. B, Paul, let's see if you're correct. That is correct. Good <laughs> job, Jordan and Stephanie. That was a great first round. We're gonna tally up the points, okay. but while we do that, let's stand to our feet and take a quick break because we're gonna worship. Some say that I In his presence, my end up on wings like him. Ego. Glory heavy, so I gotta let go of my ego. Got the Holy Spirit and we go wherever. Ego. That is my amigo, yeah, 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 yeah. In his presence, my end up on wings like him. Ego. Glory heavy, so I gotta let go of my ego. Got the Holy Spirit and we go wherever. Ego. That is my amigo. Mountain up on wings like an ego. Glory heavy, so I gotta let go of my ego. Got the Holy Spirit, and we go wherever. Ego. That is my amigo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the room like Jehovah can move and open the tomb and close with the wound yeah we know in all of my people spirit of God is God the sun is the came on the Lord the lambs the go but he coming back for the sequel out of the grave yeah. having his way I got the cheek call he don't behave yeah setting off chains we call the Debo ain't gotta remember me though holy holy father free flow come and do it only you can do it let me go Lord free flow holy spirit come down Presence mountain up on wings like an ego. Glory heavy, so I gotta let go of my ego. Got the Holy Spirit, and we go wherever. Ego. That is my amigo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you smarter than a TC kid? Now the score is pretty close, but are you guys ready to keep going? Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's do it. Stephanie, choose our first category. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with TC kids. TC kids. Okay. Perfect. Let's check out the question. How long did it rain on the earth? 40 days and 40 nights? B, 29 days and nights? Or C, 65 days yes. and nights? Okay, lock in those answers. Stephanie and Jordan, you're both locked in. Let's flip Ooh. around our whiteboards and see if we have the right answer. I... A and C, okay. E. What is the answer? Oh. A, 40 days and 40 nights. Good job, TC kids, you are pulling ahead mm. in this game. Okay, Jordan, what's our next category? Um, Let's do 
Culture codes. Culture codes. What is generosity's tagline? A, we give just to give and to get. B, we give just to give and not to get. Or C, we give to get and get to give. Wow, this is a tongue twister. I'm gonna go over here and talk to Dunamis. Dunamis, do you know all the culture codes of TC? Mm. Yeah, somewhat, yeah. You know them all? Which one's your favorite? Um, transformation. Transformation, that's a good one, that's a good one. We're a relevant and progressive church that changes lives, yeah? Yeah, that's great. How are we doing over here? About to lock in? Jordan's locked in and ready to go. Stephanie is also about to lock in. Okay, let's turn go. around those answers. Whew, I feel good about this. E and B. Let's I feel good see about if that's this. right. That is yes. correct. Good job. Okay. We're okay. equally Okay, Stephanie, smart. the score is close. I know. There's only a couple well, questions left. Okay. Which category are you going to go with? I think I'm going to go with Old Testament. Old Testament. What was David before he was a king? A, a shepherd that killed a lion, a bear, and a Goliath. Oh, my. <laughs> a musician for King Saul. Or C, all of you. Can I uh, use my hall pass again? This is kind of confusing. Yes, Stephanie, you can use your hall pass, but we're gonna, I'm gonna lock in, oh. and you can use your hall pass. I'm like, don't look at her paper. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, Stephanie, so since you got help from our friends over here this mm -hmm. time, this time you're gonna peek from your neighbor. Miss Jordan, can you show Miss Stephanie your answer? Ooh, that's excellent. a good answer. That's a good answer. All right, thanks, Jordan. Okay, perfect. Let's, <laughs> sh let's show our answers. Ready? Yeah. Thanks, Jordan. C yeah. and C. Let's see if that's right. That is correct. Good job, guys. <laughs> wow, Stephanie, she really helped you out there. She did. She did. Wow. Jordan, let's Thanks. go to the New Testament. How does that sound? Okay. Okay, let's do it. How many epistles are there in the New Testament? A, 13, B, 15, or C, 21? Ooh, got a numbers question. AJ, do you like math? Carry the nine. Yes, I do. What's your favorite part Divide about it? Divide that by the... Yeah, yeah. Multiplication, division, and subtraction. You don't like addition? I do. Oh, you like addition too? I like everything about math. <gasps> okay, math. Okay. Wow. AJ loves math and science. If Let's go math. Week, like <laughs> math is our favorite. We all love math. We do like math. You like math too, Jordan? She, it's like my favorite subject. That's your favorite uh, subject? Really? After science. After, After science. science, okay. Science is a crowd favorite around here. Okay, we are okay. both locked in. Jordan, are you locked in? Lock it in. Her, now okay. I am. We're <laughs> locked in. Let's see those answers. Okay. We have A and C. Ooh, this is a tough one. Let's see which one's right. The answer is C. TC, kids, good job. You got that one correct. Man. That is all the questions we have. And Stay tuned, because we're about to see who wins. Are you smarter than a TC kid? But for now, I need you to take a seat and get ready for the Bible story. Yep. TC kids, it is time to pick up our story from where we left off last week. Now, Chuck did our Bible story last week, and we're going to pick up where he left off. So, now we met a man named Noah. Now, to jog your memory, Noah built an ark because God was going to flood the entire earth. So, we last left with Noah and his family in the ark, surrounded by water and all of the animals. Because there was water and animals and more water and more animals and more and more water and more and more and more. And more. You get the picture. There was a lot of animals and a lot of water and a big boat. So there was nothing left of the earth whenever it rained. So after the earth was flooded for 150 days, 150 days, that's like close to five months. So after the earth was flooded for 150 days, God sent a mighty wind to subside the rain and water. And slowly but surely, the water started to subside. Basically, it means it gets lower and lower and the water begins to go away. Now, Noah sent out a dove to see if there was land. But the first time the dove was sent out, there was nowhere for it to rest. So it returned back to the boat. Now. After the seven days, after seven days, he sent out the dove again. And the dove came back again, and then waited another seven days, 
and sent the dove out again. And the dove did not return this time. That's right, you thought I was gonna say it returned. Well, guess what? The dove didn't return. Now, what does this mean though? This told Noah that there was land and God told him that he and his family can now get off the ark with all of the smelly animals, his entire family, they're able to get off the ark and basically everything was great. But after a year on the ark, Noah and his family are back on the ground and the first thing Noah did was build an altar to the Lord and he made an offering unto the Lord. God sees this offering and he decides to bless Noah and his family. He does this by creating a covenant with Noah, which is pretty much a like very close special relationship, like a special bond between God and Noah. This covenant is called the Noahic covenant. In this covenant, God promises to never flood the earth again. To show a sign of his covenant, God puts a rainbow in the sky. Now, this covenant is an everlasting covenant with Noah and his family. What does that mean? That means that even today, the covenant still is in place. And every living thing on this earth is still here because of the covenant that God and Noah made. This simply means that you can have a relationship with Jesus by accepting him into your heart as the Lord and Savior of your life. How do you do this? You do this by praying a very simple prayer. And if you wanna make that commitment, that covenant today with God, I want you to bow your head, close your eyes and repeat after me. Say, dear God, thank you for sending your son, Jesus. I believe he lived, died, and rose again just for me. Today, I give you my life. Change me, renew me, transform me. I'm yours. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Way to go. Listen, this is big. I mean huge, over the top news. And we don't want you to keep it to yourself. We want you to tell everyone that you know, tell your brother, your sister, your cousin, mom, dad, aunt, tell every person that you come in contact with that you chose Jesus as the leader of your life. And we want you to tell us. How do you do that? You do that by clicking the I Choose Jesus link down below. That way we are able to celebrate with you and we're able to pray for you as you walk out a relationship with Jesus. Is it your first time checking out TC Kids? That means that you are a VIP or a very important person. Make sure to click on the I am new to TC Kids link below to let us know. And don't forget to keep hanging out with us as we continue to learn about God and have a lot of fun doing it. What an amazing Bible story. TC Kids, I think it's time to figure out who the winner is. Are you guys ready? Okay, give me a little drum roll, please. The winner is Jordan. Yes. Yes, TC Kids have won yet another week of <laughs> Are You Smarter Than a TC Kid? The adults have yet to win, but we'll see if that looks change, changes next week. Join us next week for a lot more fun, a lot more questions, and you may see some of these kiddos over here. But until then, we love you, God loves you, and we'll see you right back here next week on TC Kids. Now, now go, go out and live a transformed, transformed life. life. Bye! Bye.